Hello again from Southeast Michigan. Time to do another walk around video of my Sling TSI build. Uh, this is video number three. Um, nothing fancy, just a walk around to show the progress that I've made. Uh, totally unedited and uh, just hopefully power through any mistakes that I might make, but just give everybody an idea of where I'm at with my build. Um, just a quick recap. This is Sling TSI 445SK. Uh, it, I've got it as a flat kit. Um, I've blogged so far 1,489 hours. So I'm well over the limit or the recommended or suggested amount from Sling, but again, this is my first build and I am admittedly taking it slow and very carefully. My first kits were received back in April 23, so I'm roughly 18 months into it. Um, this is only the fuselage, but the wings, the empennage, the seats, and a whole bunch of other stuff are downstairs and are completely done. So really have made quite a lot of progress in those 18 months. Uh, the big change since the last video is pretty obvious right here, and that is that I now have the engine. Uh, my Rotax 915IS uh, arrived a month or so ago, uh, along with the prop and the firewall forward kit. Uh, and I've made quite a lot of progress getting those installed. Um, those are the last parts that I'm scheduled to receive directly from Sling. The next thing up will be uh, Midwest panels. Um, after the first of the year, we're gonna do the instrument panel, wiring harness, etc. And then shortly, sometime after that, next year, uh, we'll be taking the whole kit up to Midwest Aerosports for paint and final assembly. So I'm very, very fortunate to have those two really great companies close to me and local. So let's, uh, let's take a little closer look at this engine. Uh, it's been pretty fascinating to look it over. Uh, as I think I've mentioned in some other videos, I've been doing a car hobby for a lot of years and pretty familiar with building and installing engines in cars. And uh, while there are certainly some similarities, lots and lots of differences, and it's been kind of interesting to learn about it. Um, I do have it uh, completely mounted. I have all the pieces on the firewall. You notice I did put the insulation on the outside of the firewall. Some discussion about putting that on the inside, but I chose to leave it the way that the kit shows on the outside. Um, and I do have the Airmaster prop hub and all mounted, uh, ready to go. The spinner and the blades are still in the box downstairs and won't be going anywhere anytime soon. Um, just walking around, um, you can see I've got the um, Navaflow fuel uh, manifold installed. But, and the biggest thing obvious here is that while I have everything installed, I haven't really hooked anything up yet. All of the oil lines, water lines, electrical lines, etc. I've got everything pushed through the firewall that goes inside, but I really haven't tied anything down yet. To be honest, I'm a little bit uh, overwhelmed by all of that. A lot of it needs insulation. And um, I'm gonna be at a workshop at Midwest Aerosports in a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna take the opportunity to take a whole bunch of pictures of planes that have been finished by the experts and see exactly how to route all that stuff, how, to, how and where to tie it down, et cetera. I'm just a little unsure about what I should do with that and I'm going to take the opportunity to learn from them. Um, the other thing is that I am going to use uh, PTFE fuel lines. I've done a lot of that with car builds, so I have no issue whatsoever with making those up myself. Uh, I haven't started that yet, but I will be doing that. Um, I am going to use the kit supplied rubber um, oil hoses though. Um, they do have a five-year lifespan, but since they're out here on the far, in the firewall area, uh, they're relatively accessible, and I'm just going to go ahead and stay with what the kit has. Just a quick walk around then. Uh, I, I have the exhaust extension cut off, and that was kind of interesting, but it's done. Uh, really not too much else to show here. I'd like to say it's pretty just, just a basic mount so far, uh, and then... I've cut some of the hoses to length and put a few of the ends on, but I haven't cut anything to final length or hooked anything up or done any insulation. So still lots of work to do there. Uh, just walking past the fuselage, I do have been working the last week or two on the interior. 
So I do have the glare shield sitting in there along with the, with the front, but all of that was, is gonna come off uh, when it's time to do the uh, instruments and wiring and so on. Just today I finished up, I've been mocking up all the interior panels. So I have all that done, uh, lots of screws to locate, nut certs, etc. cetera. Um, and that's, that's all done. I have this, the center console just, again, just mocked up the, the, the fuel selection gate, uh, fuel selector just sitting there. Um, Anyway, lot, lots of things just kind of mocked up um, pending the next steps. I did uh, put the AVO um, uh, ball air vents in the dash. Um, they're off really, really nice and really, really expensive. So I those will be the only two in my kit. Um, I did use the kit supplied ones in the back, located the holes over that channel and uh, have those installed. The next thing I'm going to be working on is uh, trying to decide what I want to do with the heat and ventilation system. I'm still kind of up in the air on, I know a lot of guys make changes with those to get better heat mainly to the back seats and just better ventilation overall. I'm going to be working with that a little bit uh, coming up, actually the very next thing I plan to work on. Uh, related to that, I also have the, uh, the coolers installed in the bottom half of the cowl. So here's the oil cooler and the water cooler. There's some latches you have to install, which are kind of interesting to get to reach, but I got that all in. Um, and then also this is the intercooler. Um, it's, it obviously goes on the side of the engine, but I've just got it here ready out of the way right now. That came with a fiberglass or composite um, shroud piece that I painted with some 2K paint. And uh, surprisingly matches the intercooler really closely. Um, really not a lot else to see. Most of this back here is exactly the way that it was the last time. Um, the doors are all installed. Downstairs I do have also all the glass. I spent some time getting the glass all fitted. So that's in the, in the front windshield. All of that's completely ready to install when the time comes to do that. Let me just walk around here a little bit more. It's the other side of the inside looks an awful lot like the right side. Back here, this is this is this is the area right here where the intercooler goes. I was unsure about putting the prop on the prop hub on. Um, I'm totally at the limit of what I can handle here in the garage uh, from a length standpoint, and I've only ran into it two or three times since it's pretty close. To the front of the garage but I realized that I needed it there to fit the cowl uh, because the cowl fits pretty tightly to the back of the spinner there so I went ahead and mounted it. Uh, the oven video was a super help on that even though the instructions from Airmaster were really good. Okay well that's probably about it that gives you an idea where I'm at um, making good progress having a good time learning a lot. Thanks see you later.